hello everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be explaining that how to extend the c volume without deleting any kind of partition and how to fix the extend volume option have been grayed out so right now you can see i have a local disk c and only 18.7 gigabyte is free now i have another disk here another drive that contains around 20 gigabyte i want to extend my c drive and take the space from the e drive but the problem is when you go to the disk management and right click on the c drive the extend volume option is grayed out okay so the simple fix is you don't have to delete any partition here you will have to come to this website the link will be in the description of mini tool partition wizard the tool is absolutely free and safe so hover up on download partition wizard and click on download under the free edition and once it get downloaded you have to click on the downloaded file click on yes click on ok now here click continue installing free edition and then click on next uncheck this option mini tool shadow maker free click on next click on next and then click on finish once it will be installed you will be getting this kind of dashboard now before extending the volume let me show you if i bring up my file explorer i will create some folder here so that i can show you that nothing will be deleted okay so now this time when i will uh, extend the c drive you will find that these data will not be affected and nothing will be deleted so if i go back now so now here you have to select the c drive once you select it on the left hand side you will find extend partition now in case if you don't find the extend partition option here then probably your c drive has been logged by the bit locker so first you will have to unlock the bit locker and then you have to come to this page so select the c drive click on extend partition and now it will say take free space from so from which drive exactly you want to take the space so it's e volume 20 gigabyte this is the right one and now it will say how much free space do you want to take so i will take almost everything like around 18 gigabyte so that i can show you that the remaining data will be not affected and then i will click on ok and now here you have to click on apply click on yes and within few seconds only it will say applied all the pending changes successfully so now if i click on ok and then bring up the file explorer now you can see my c drive has been extended and from 18 now it's 36.5 gigabyte free of 77.3 gigabyte now if i bring my another drive so you will find all the data all the folder that i created so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this best method to extend your c drive without deleting any kind of partition and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and I see you in the next session. Bye-bye.